G'day aspiring engineers, welcome to this Q&A quickie, cut versus join. I had a question from Lucas Club, he writes, I don't understand the concept of cut, what's going on? Okay, thanks Lucas for your question, let's take a look at cut versus join and all the other options in the extrude dialogue. So here we have the, uh, the latest interface of Fusion 360, got all the tools up here, there's the create menu, modify and assemble. Now the first thing I want you to do is get into a good habit here and that is name your file before you begin. So let's call this one mutilated block. That'll do. And we're going to put that in a project. Now see what happens. The top of the tree takes on the name. Now I want you to keep an eye on what's going on in the tree here as we go. And on the uh, the bottom of the screen down here, we've got these features that are going to show up. So we're going to start a sketch. But before we do, what I want you to do is turn on the point of origin so you can see it there. Now click on Create Sketch. Choose one of those planes. Doesn't really matter which. Here's the rectangle tool, two-point rectangle. I'm just going to make this one 30, tab 40, press Enter. Then hit the E key, and that takes us into the extrude dialog. Grab the little blue handle and move it part of the way. Let's just make this go a distance of 60. Now, have a look in the tree here. We've got under bodies, we have one body. You click on it, it turns blue. You click outside, and it goes grey again. You can also turn it on and off with this little eye icon. And you see that we've got the sketch that we just made, and we've got the extrusion in that feature line down the bottom. I'm going to make a new sketch on the top. Hit the C key to get the circle tool. We can find the center point of this edge of the part by mousing over it. And when you see the little triangle there, tiny blue triangle, then you can follow the tracking line up, put it somewhere along there. There's a circle. I'm going to change the size of that to 20. Another circle. I'm going to make this one 10 and finish the sketch. You can hit the blue button down here or the one in the toolbar. Hit the E key for extrude. What I'm going to do is for the profile select both of those circles, the annulus and the circle in the middle. Then I'm going to drag that out oh, about uh, 20 millimeters. Hit OK. Notice that we still have just one body in the tree here. You click on it, it turns blue. Now Right click on the last feature that we made, click edit feature, and then change the operation from join to new body. Click OK. Then have a look in the tree here. We've got not one body, but now two bodies. That's the last body that we made. And there's a little eye there. We can turn the visibility of that body on and off. And we can turn the visibility of the other body on and off. Right click on the edit feature again. Open up the dialog. And this time I'm going to take the extrusion back through the part and out the other side. And I'm going to change the new body to cut. Click OK. And we can see through it. We're back to one body. Right click on the, on the extrusion feature again. Left click on edit feature. Now we're going to change the, the operation to intersect. And you can see what's happening here. Back to one body. And it's only those parts of the two bodies that were intersecting one another. So right click, edit feature, change it back to join, click OK. We don't see that hole in the middle now and the body is just one. So right click again, edit feature, change that to new body, click OK. And we do see the circle because they're two separate bodies. And we turn that one off and turn the other one off. Now watch what happens when I mouse over the icons in the history timeline down below. They sort of pre-highlight. So there's the first sketch that I made. Then there's the extrusion that we made, the block shape. Here's the sketch that I made and the extrusion that I made from that. You can see the two bodies that we've got there. And we've got two sketches here which we can actually turn on and off. So there's the sketch of the two circles that I made here. What I want to do now is go back to that second extrusion. And this time I want to choose that inner circle, not the outer one, just the inner one. I'm going to change this to cut and we can have this cut going to an extent here, which is the extent of all. 
and we click OK and we've cut through there. And what we did there was we used the same sketch. So we can edit the profile sketch and that's the same as right click edit sketch. There you go. Hope that helps. Good on you Lucas. Keep the questions coming.